Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lex and in today's broadcast we will be looking at what happens when one's ego becomes the size of the Roman Empire and refuses to admit to being in the wrong. Today we'll be looking at how KSI earned his reputation of acting childish and handling criticism arguably worse than how Alex slash Yonderidev handles criticism. Around two weeks ago now, I talked about the Lunchly situation involving KSI, Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, and Dan TDM. After Dan TDM made his initial tweet about Lunchly being a greedy cash grab, Mr. Beast and Logan Paul both responded in their own unique ways. KSI, however, doubled down on rejecting Dan's harmless critiques. KSI, who is a YouTuber who was known for his gaming content and later on his reactions to popular internet memes. I mentioned in my earlier video that KSI kept making remarks against Dan TDM, the Minecraft YouTuber, on Twitter as well as referencing him in some of his newest YouTube videos. The only time that I have seen KSI be respectful towards Dan as of late is when Dan made a post about his sons and KSI responded peacefully. Some of the tweets include paraphrasing Dan's original tweet to make fun of anyone famous who chooses to release a new product, and instead of apologizing for his questionable actions towards Dan, KSI made a fake apology video that was really just a promotional video for the Prime Energy Drink and the Lunchly products. This video included KSI laughing at what happened. This uh, did not go over very well for him, and a lot of people were not impressed. About two weeks ago now, oddly enough, KSI released a song called Thick of It, featuring American rapper Trippy Red. The song received over 28 million views on YouTube, however, it received 2.2 million dislikes in contrast to its 634,000 likes. Reactions to the song were lukewarm, to be polite, with many viewers writing comments making fun of the song, with some even saying that the song sounds like something from a clickbaity video compilation. While the reaction to the song was subpar at best, the song was projected to make its way onto the Billboard Hot 100 list and has received over 16 million streams on Spotify as I record this in mid-October 2024. Now that the backstory is out of the way, I would like to give my thoughts on the situation. Dan TDM made the initial tweet over a month ago. Why is KSI so pressed about it to the point that he fixates on it for over a month? It's not like like Dan said anything mean or harmful, he was just speaking his mind as a parent and a father of two small children. Is KSI jealous of Dan's success and unblemished image? Cause it sure seems like it. Instead of, again, listening to the critiques and trying to improve Lunchly as a product, KSI treats the entire thing like he's a 14 year old and acts like the situation is nothing but a joke. People are using the song in their YouTube shorts and TikToks, which equals free promotion for KSI. As the old saying goes, there is no such thing as bad publicity. Anytime someone is in the news, good or bad, it gets people talking about them. So KSI is making money off of the song because he's getting views from YouTube and his Spotify streams, which means that he is able to make money off of being rude to Dan. If someone is making money off of something in poor taste, they will feel no reason to change their actions because they are actively being rewarded for that bad behavior. So KSI will continue to make a clown out of himself. I listened to Thick of It and personally I don't really like it, I'm not a huge fan of it. 
My music taste is a mix of EDM, Broadway musicals, K-pop, normal pop, and the occasional rock song. Songs I like from each of those categories include, but are not limited to, Haunted by Lorelei's, Be Prepared from the Lion King, Smart by Lay Seraphim, Hold on Tight by Aspa, and Baby Doll by Bryce Savage. However, my all-time favorite song is Made Me This Way by Seraphine featuring Jasmine Clark, which is the same song that I use in my intro and outro sections of my videos. Now, I think that this gives a pretty good idea of what I like to listen to when I'm on the train or playing games. I like to listen to whatever I think sounds nice. KSI's song just sounds outdated to me. Very summer of 2016 vibes. I can see how some people would genuinely like the song, but personally, it just isn't for me. I will include all the links to the songs down below in case anybody does want to listen to them all. And if anybody wants any song recommendations, just let me know in the comments and I will have you covered. In conclusion, I think KSI will continue to act the way he is because one, it makes him money from people listening to his song, and like I said, he is being actively rewarded for his incredibly poor behavior, and two, he knows the more outrageous he acts, the more exposure he will get from the internet, even at the cost of being branded as childish and obsessive, as well as ruining his reputation even more than he arguably already has. Before I leave you all this fine morning, afternoon, evening, or whenever you may be watching this video, I would like to leave you with a fun fact. Did you know that King Edward VII, eldest son of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, was known as the uncle of Europe? He married Alexandra of Denmark in March 1863, producing six children. His other eight siblings married the monarchs and nobles across Europe, each producing their own brood of children, aside from his younger sister Louise, who married but never had children with her husband. This made Edward VII the uncle of dozens of emperors, empresses, kings, queens, and more. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more of my content, then please subscribe to Sweet Hister Tea, a channel full of random facts, lots of sparkles, and tons more videos to come in the future. Thank you so much again for watching, and until next time, bye bye It's a part of myself that I'm missing Now I got a lot to learn